What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So today, hard goods. What are hard goods? Basically durable items. Electronics, glassware, sporting equipment. You know, just the miscellaneous items that are basically not clothing or shoes. That you can find in thrift stores or even around your house and you can sell them for profit. So this is a what's sold video. I'm going to give you 15 hard goods different categories that have sold for me within the past month say I'm gonna pop them up on the screen I'll tell you what I paid for them how long they took to sell what they sold for and my approximate net profit now my buy cost is gonna be different than where you live in your buy cost so the main number you want to focus on is what the item is selling for and what the item actually is maybe the way I title something I'm not the best at it but if you're learning it's a good tool for you to look at and you might see a brand to look out for and you'll know that it's selling for decent money. So let's get started and I'll put them on the screen. All right, item numero uno. This is a Reddington fly rod fishing reel and rod case. I got this for free from my source, mint condition, listed it, it sold in two weeks. So for $24, I took an offer. Someone sent me a message on eBay. I did not have best offer, but many people will just send you a message anyway, asking for less, you know, if they'll take less, and then you can reply with offer, and you get an item sold. And I netted approximately $20 on this. And this, I basically used the same box for a golf club, the long um, triangle box for USPS. Next up is an item I typically sell a lot of and they're bags. This brand is called Dagny Dover and it was just basically like a heavy neoprene basically like um like a computer tote bag. But a very good brand. As you can see it sold for seventy five dollars on Poshmark. I paid eight dollars for it at a Goodwill and it sold within three weeks. I think I had it listed for around a hundred and someone sent me a message. So I had no direct comps for it and I was happy to take 75 and I netted approximately $52. Here we have a golf club. The brand is Ping, great brand. The line is G5. It was a woman's five iron. I picked this up. I believe this is the one I got when my wife and son were skydiving that day and I took a quick run over to Goodwill. So I paid $2 for this at Goodwill. It took one week to sell. So for $27.75 plus $10, and then netted roughly $22. And golf clubs, easily to ship. Again, in the long triangle box. I think those boxes are about 38 inches. And I ship them from down here in Miami. I've shipped a bunch of clubs, single clubs, of course, to California. And about $10.50 or so. So they're not that expensive. Here's a vintage mouse. It's a trackball mouse. There are some better ones out there that sell for pretty good money. This was a Belkin, nothing fancy. I picked this up at a local thrift store for $1. It took about six months to sell. So for $16.75, and I put free shipping on this one, and I netted about $9. All right, back to golf. This was a practice net. It was open box, but the packaging inside was all sealed. Found it at a local thrift store for $10. This is one of those nets you can set up in your backyard, hit your golf balls into it for practice. Two weeks to sell, sold for $42.75 plus $11 shipping, and I netted roughly $27. And for this, I actually didn't even box it up. I just slapped the shipping label right onto the box, sent it off, no worries. Next up is another great seller, water filters. Pure water filter. This was a box of six, but there was only five in it. And the five were sealed, of course. And I found it at Goodwill for $6. Sold in four days for $47.75 plus $9 shipping. And I netted roughly $34. And for this, the original box was kind of big compared to the size of the filters. And I put in my original listing that the filters were not being shipped in the original box. And it saved me size and probably a little bit of money on the shipping. All right, here's another great seller, Ink. HP 971XL in magenta. Surprisingly, this took eight months to sell. I paid zero for it. 
I got it from my wife's office. They got rid of a printer and it had excess ink. So for $29.75, free shipping, and I netted about $21. Here's a belt buckle. Mechanic, it had like a spark plug and some tools on it. Really solid and heavy. I thought it was unique, so I picked it up. It was actually attached to a belt at the store. So I bought it for $1, but the belt was crappy, so I threw it out. Sold the buckle alone. So took about six months to sell. Sold on Poshmark for $16. I netted about 13, 12 or 13 dollars. All right, here we have a Bialetti Espresso. I guess it's an espresso machine or espresso pot, you could say. Got this for free from my source where I get a lot of free things. It took one week to sell. Sold on Poshmark for 18 dollars, and I netted about 14 dollars. Another bag. This was a Patagonia messenger bag. I paid $6 for this at a Goodwill. Took one month to sell. It sold on Poshmark for $23. I think I had it listed for about $28. And I took an offer. And I netted about $18. One more bag. Actually, this is a double one. This is a clear backpack. And on it, it says Lady Gaga Joanne. I had picked up five of these. They were brand new. They were still in the bags at a local thrift store that you mark two dollars each but they were having a fifty percent off anything over a dollar so I paid a dollar each and it took seven months to sell now I have five of them listed never sold a single one for seven months and then all of a sudden in one week two of them sold go figure but either way I paid a dollar each sold for fifteen seventy five plus five shipping and I netted roughly twelve dollars on each one so that's $2 into $24. And to pack these, since it was plastic, you know, a clear plastic backpack, and not like a material one, you really couldn't fold it in half. So I have these large poly bags that I have for shipping, you know, messenger bags and so forth. And I just put it into one of those. All right, here's the first time ever selling these Monster High dolls. I picked these up last week at the bins. There was three of them. I had never sold, and I'm not too knowledgeable on them, but I had heard that they do pretty good so at the bins three dollars probably cost me you know it's a dollar seventy five a pound and I remember weighing them when I came home and it was like ten ounces so I'm call it like eighty cents ninety cents even a dollar no big deal they sold in twenty five minutes of listing for sixteen seventy five plus five dollars shipping and I netted roughly fourteen dollars now I priced them a little below the comps so I wanted to move them out quick and 25 minutes is pretty quick. So, Monster High Dolls, I will be looking out for them in the future. And things like this, well, I get into that in the next two items. The next one is a Skills. It's a baseball hitting trainer. I also found this at the Goodwill Bins. So this probably cost me about $1.75, $2 because it was just over a pound. Sold in one day, $18.75, free shipping. I did free shipping because all the comps had free shipping. And I netted about $8 on it. And lastly, this is a very small item. This was a Maui Gym, which is a good brand. It was a foldable sunglasses case. And it still had the rag for cleaning your lens sealed in the plastic inside. So it was like pretty much someone bought some sunglasses or it came with their sunglasses. And they didn't want the case. So eyeglass case, I probably paid a quarter for it by weight, if that. It sold in two days for $9.75 free shipping, and I netted about $5, $5 in change. Now, the thing with something like this, even though I like to make more money than $5 on an item, when it comes from the bins, these are the items that I always want to find with every trip to the bins. Reason being, if you have five pounds worth of stuff, so you have a pair of jeans, a couple of shirts, you know, you find a, a little radio or whatever be the case. And it's going to come out to $10 or so for your cost. This little sunglass case doesn't change the price because it is so lightweight. So to me, I say it's free because it's not changing the weight. So if every trip to the bins, you can find a small, lightweight item that's really not going to change your buy cost by weight, but it's going to sell for like $10 and you're going to make, you know, 5 to 10 on it, that will pay for your haul. 
So every trip I go, I like to find a nice lightweight item that's going to make me 5 to 10 bucks. Covers the trip, then everything else is pure profit. All right, let's go over the numbers. Out of these 15 items, my total buy cost was $39. After fees and recouping my cost, my net was $280. Out of the 15 items, six sold within a week, four sold between one week and one month, and five took longer than a month. So, hard goods, it's a big section of the stores, whenever you go to thrift stores, they're out there and there's money to be made. So I appreciate you watching. Any questions, put them down below. I'm always happy to answer. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.